Western medicine is inferior medicine. You know, one of the greatest things that I ever learned when I was studying Chinese herbology was not actually the herbs themselves. It was opening up my awareness to how health and healing works and opening up my awareness to the systems that I was learning about Chinese herbs and healing in general. And one of those systems was the, was the way that they classified Chinese herbs thousands of years ago. And, and this is what leads me to say that Western medicine is inferior medicine. So hear me out. In China, thousands of years ago, when they originated the original pharmacopoeia of China, which contained over 6,000 different substances, that pharmacopoeia was classified to three distinct classes of herbs. There were the superior herbs, the general herbs, and the inferior herbs. Now the superior herbs make up the very smallest class of all those herbs. In fact, it's less than 100 herbs, and in general, the most widely used ones are probably less than 20. They're considered superior herbs because they build the body up. They strengthen a weakness or a deficiency somewhere in the body. That's why they're often referred to as tonics, because they're always uplifting, strengthening, and putting you in a position of being the strongest that you can possibly be. That's the class of herbs I focus on at HerbWorks for all of my products. Because I realized over the decades that I was working in an herb shop and, and putting people on programs that their number one health issue really was stress and how it wears the body out. And so if you can't build somebody back up, then they're always going to be experiencing their health problems. Now the second class, which is just a little bit bigger than superior herbs, is called general herbs. And general herbs are often taken along with superior herbs so that you digest them a little better. They also balance out certain types of problems that you have, you know, movements of energy. It helps your body flow energetically much better. So they're a great in combination with superior herbs, but they don't build your system up so much. And then the third class, which is the largest class of herbs in China, the largest class of herbs in any herbal system, and really where most modern medicine falls, is this class of herbs called inferior herbs. Now, inferior herbs are often referred to as poisons because they're designed to kill something off that's invaded your system. So if you take an inferior herb and it works really well, you're probably thinking that's the greatest herb in the world because it killed something off and you were able to regain your health. Yet there's nothing in that class of herbs that makes you stronger or helps build your health up so you don't fall into being chronically worn out or experiencing all these illnesses. So it's an inferior herb and if you took an inferior herb when you were feeling really well and didn't need it, you'd get sick because it is kind of like a poison. It's designed to kill something off. And the whole general idea of superior, general, and inferior herbs really kind of leads you to the awareness that if you always waited until you had a major issue and had to use an inferior herb, then you were on an inferior health program because you're not doing anything to build up your health beyond danger. To build the state of health to where your body protects itself, it's much stronger, it doesn't fall into illness, and if it does, it's temporary because the body is able to recoup and to rebuild its energy quite quickly and come back to a state of health. And that's why inferior herbs are an inferior program. And this is why I said Western medicine is an inferior medical system. That doesn't mean that it's not great. Western medicine is the most amazing system of medicine for trauma and for emergencies. There's just nothing in it as a teaching element to prevent you from becoming sick. Almost everything they use, every drug that they have in that system, is a poison. If you gave it to a, if you gave a high blood pressure drug to somebody that didn't have high blood pressure, they'd become sick. 
if you gave most almost any drug that they make to someone who didn't use it, it would mess their system up and it wouldn't be functioning right and they would get sick. And so it's an inferior system, but it is the type of system that we probably need more than anything else for the vast majority of people because the vast majority of people aren't aware that they can actually build their health up. They can actually have certain habits that are always opening and building and they can get to a different state of health which the Chinese referred to as radiant health or health beyond danger. And so that's why it's an inferior system. But again, it doesn't mean that it's not amazing when you need it, but we have to develop the awareness and the mindset that it is what it is and we use it appropriately and not look to it for answers to the bigger problems in life.